Hey! What are you doing in here? Sorry, that's terrible. <laughs> I'm working from home. I, you know, I think this is just the, the fact of life these days. And uh, you all have joined me in my kitchen a few times. And given that there's basically no division between work and personal life anymore, why not pull the curtain back anymore? I'll give you a tour of my own kitchen. I need coffee. Oh, let me introduce you to my coffee corner. Now my coffee corner is so small that most of my coffee brewing gear doesn't actually fit and you know, quarantine. So like, I am... Whoa! Well stocked of coffee um, at the moment. I have a lot of coffee to drink. <laughs> One thing I have started is, you know, like so many people have gotten on the sourdough bandwagon. So this is one new member of my kitchen, is my sourdough starter. I just fed it, so it's low uh, and it's, it's just starting to rise. I'm gonna be frank with you, I'm not the most organized person. Uh, there are far more organized and better organized kitchens than mine. But one of the best things um, that I actually picked up from Sasha is to use these bins to hold categories of stuff. So you can't just put every little thing in, a, in, a, in one of these because it's not space efficient. What's really good is to start doing these bins. And you see how I was able to just pull that whole thing down. I love that. So this is my beans and greens bin. If I get another bag of some other bean, I don't need to find some new pop container to put it in. I just stack it on here, use it eventually, and I can pop this right back up here so easily. It's just organized enough. This one is made by Progressive for like sh big bins of sugar and flour. Um, I really like this. Now, you know, I, I do my flour by weight most of the time, but it does have this nice feature in here. It's got this crossbar, so you can actually level a scoop as you're pulling it out of the bin. So if you are measuring by um, volume, that's kind of nice. <laughs> Sorry, I can hear my son. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, but he's know what he's going on about. I think he's singing, maybe. This is where I keep my pasta. Under the bed. <laughs> That's super embarrassing. I have so much pasta that it does not fit in my kitchen. And so, there you go. Under the bed. All right, you want to see my cookware collection? It's, um, it's a lot. All right, nonstick pan. Two quart saucepan, pasta pan, one quart uh, saucier, another two quart saucepan, saute pan, eight inch carbon steel skillet, 12 inch cast iron skillet. You don't all think I'm done, do you? <laughs> Dutch oven. Then there's my um, donabe, my tagine. And I was just thinking about how I would like to buy some more earthenware. And Kate, my wife was like, you will not. I forgot <laughs> to show you this is a very prized little collection of copper pots. One of the most responsive conductive metals and makes it really cool to cook on. Beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful stuff. I have a mix of, uh, you know, Western style knives and uh, Japanese knives and one, actually two, I didn't even take out my other Chinese cleaver. So I have two Chinese cleavers, but I only have one here right now. And then I got all these knives that I haven't even taken out of the boxes. Oops. Here's something that I brought from my restaurant experience into my home kitchen, and that's the use of eighth sheet pans and sizzle platters. So what is this technically? This is a rimmed half sheet pan, because a full sheet pan is twice the size and you would only see it in a you know, commercial or restaurant kitchen. That helps explain the terminology when you encounter quarter sheet pans. If you don't own quarter sheet pans, you should. I use them more than I use half sheet pans. They are incredibly helpful for all kinds of prep, all kinds of mise en place stuff when you're getting recipes together. And beyond that, eighth sheet pans. These are useful for all sorts of stuff. You know, reheating a, a small portion of something in the oven, tossing it in the toaster. I also have sizzle platters, which is another, you know, restaurant-y thing, but they're very useful for home also for reheating. You want to see the thing I hate more than anything else? 
This citrus juicer is the worst citrus juicer I've ever used in my life. Every time I try to squeeze a lemon or a lime in it, all the juice squirts out the side and none of it goes out the bottom. It's infuriating. And every time I use it, I get pissed off and I'm like, I need to buy a new citrus squeezer, man. And then I never do. This is my utensils drawer. And you know, I would say it's not well organized. Oh, this thing's fun. You know what this is? Who knows what this is? This is a Japanese droplet. This, the traditional ones are made out of wood. This is made out of silicone. It's, and it's named after a, they're named after a pig. And so then they put a cute little pig snout on, on the product. These are like from my great grandparents from uh, Latvia, um, but they're, uh, they're straw spoons. But the truth is everything that passes through them tastes metallic, so I never use them. Oh, this is cute, look. Little um, Pororo um, chopstick for kids. All right, well, here's my freezer, which is just full of stuff, um, including frozen fish. These are uh, salmon collars I bought recently. There's frozen kampachi, frozen bread, frozen vegetables, always handy to have in case you need a quick vegetable for dinner. I got some uh, trout, Acadian redfish, uh, frozen scallops. My freezer's so full that it almost doesn't close. And then my fridge, welcome to my refrigerator. This is the leftovers of the tagine I cooked last night. It's fish tagine. Got some duck breast I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. Tonic, fancy tonic water. This, I have this for cooking. It's like canned white wine. So you don't have to open a whole bottle just to cook. The wine, the, the wine and sake bottles um, begin to take over all sorts of stuff in my, yeah, the fridge does not like being open this long. That's my, that's my fridge. So that's my kitchen in a nutshell. This is where the recipes get made. It's where the sausage gets made and the sourdough. Thank you for joining me on my home kitchen tour. I hope that it was uh, not boring.